Catamarans have been around for a long time. They were originally built by the Tahitians and others from South Pacific, you know, hundreds and even thousands of years ago. Part of the reason for their existence is their stability and efficiency, and that still is true today. But now as powered catamaran technology has improved and we're seeing much larger boats that require multiple engines, then I think that's really where the powered catamaran shines. If designed correctly, they typically are more efficient than a monohull, especially on a boat where you're going to be out in the ocean and want a smooth ride, high stability, and a good performance. I grew up in Florida and the summers were hot. Not a lot of things to do except for go on the water. So at about seven years old, I started sailing dinghies. A couple years later, I started to race those boats. Ended up liking the competition and winning the national championship of that class several times. And then going on to larger boats. I've done five Olympic campaigns in different boats, eventually resulting in winning the Olympic trials in 1988 and representing the U.S. in the Olympic Games. I've also won around 30 national championships in various classes and three world championships. Two of those world championships were in boats I designed and built. For the Olympic Games, our NACRA 17 design was chosen from a competitive bid from a number of manufacturers to be the choice of Olympic equipment for the 2016 Games and the 2020 Olympic Games. In the America's Cup, we led the team that developed the one design hull structure and wing for the 2017 America's Cup. We've invested in a technology called computational fluid dynamics. It requires expensive software run on a supercomputer and it requires highly skilled engineers to run the software to understand how it works and to get the most out of it. So we're now using that same technology to design all of our boats really resulted in big improvement in performance, but also certainty about the outcome of how the boat's going to work. What we proposed to Invincible was to use our latest, most highest tech, most accurate design tools. Those design tools are more expensive to use and take more time, but you ultimately get a better product. One of the biggest challenges to overcome with using advanced simulation techniques is the ability to get a rapid turnaround and make it useful within a design cycle. High performance computing resources allows us to go from something like eight to six cores on your local desktop to run on 100 to 200. We can get a much more rapid turnaround at times. We can iterate the whole form design more times and get back more information quickly. A boat like the Invincible 40 has a ventilated hull and you have a mixture of air and water underneath the hull and it's a really complex flow phenomenon happening that basically leads to your drag reduction and overall a better boat. With the lower fidelity tools that you might typically use in hull design, you can't really capture that interaction of air and water. By using these tools, we're able to discretize the whole surface of the hull where we break it up into a number of small surface areas. We're calculating the flow and pressure velocities of, of the water and predicting how the water impacts the hull. We're able to really capture that effect and optimize a hull that's based around the principle of ventilated hull drag reduction. We've taken one of our very successful hulls, specifically a boat called a Catalyst 45 that we developed for the Team New Zealand America's Cup team to follow these high performance foiling catamarans at 40 knots and one meter plus seas. We knew from that that the boat performs very well in a variety of sea conditions. We've taken a known, proven, very good handling hull that has very good sea keeping capabilities and very good performance and made it even better. And the Invincible Cat 40 is very unique in that it is what we call a, a hybrid semi-asymmetric shape. A lot of power catamarans have what we call a symmetric shape where if you take the hull and split it down the middle, it's essentially equal in terms of it, its width on either side of the keel. And then you also see, say, offshore racing catamarans that are purely asymmetrical, almost like a deep V hull split down the middle and pushed apart. So you have a very rectangular looking tunnel. A lot of the reason for that is you get a big aerodynamic benefit down the tunnel. You get a lot of lift going on, uh, which helps reduce resistance and makes the boat go faster. Each of those two 
Hull shapes has their pros and cons. A symmetrical catamaran uh, tends to be very smooth riding because it tends to push a mixture of air and water down the tunnel, which gives you a cushioning ride as you come down off a wave. But they're generally not as high performance as a purely asymmetrical hull catamaran. The hull shape that we evolve is what we call a semi-asymmetric. That type of boat, especially in the speed and operating range that the Invisible Cat 40 operates in, has proven to be superior. A lot of high performance computational fluid dynamics codes were originally developed for use in government projects, NASA, really high budget type development projects where they needed answers to these important design problems. You don't typically see these types of tools being used in the recreational industry. Now those tools are coming to the point where you can apply them to a wider range of projects. Projects like the Invincible 40, they want a really fast, optimized hull form and they want it to be leading other boats. That's the right application for these types of tools. Invincible is the first boat company that's said, okay, it's worth it now to actually invest in higher end design and, and technology. They see that there is a benefit to it. Invincible is very well known for high quality boats, the best in the industry. So that's a dream come true for us to be involved with some of the best. We consider ourselves to be leaders in power catamaran technology, and we like to showcase our design with the best boat builders possible.